Dennis de Vries from KPMG. I am um, to prepare this interview. I looked at the KPMG website and it stated that you were an expert in the application of blockchain in the financial sector. Oh. <laughs> But to my to my knowledge, it's you know, blockchain in the financial sector is still in a pilot phase. Mm -hmm. How come you're an expert in the application of blockchain? Ah, Well, you know, I think blockchain started in the financial sector, right? It, it actually started with cryptocurrencies and around 2014, when I started my uh, blockchain research at ING, that's that's about the, the point in time that most of the banks actually started uh, noticing blockchain. Mm -hmm. And especially uh, if, if you, uh, it started from the payments function of a bank. If, if you look how payments is currently organized and, and you know what's happening under the hood. Yeah. That's, that's a pretty lengthy process, uh, right? Uh, so banks have client interfaces, they have production systems, they have a, a nice mainframe hidden somewhere uh, in a big factory, which sends their transactions to Equins in the Netherlands, which sends to another bank, etc. And yeah. then, then you and I only see the smartphone end of that, and it looks great. Yeah. Um, But what's happening underneath is that there's actually a very complicated infrastructure. So currently we have about 35,000 banks globally mm -hmm. all operating their own infrastructure. And when Bitcoin came along, you suddenly have this weird guy called Satoshi Nakamoto coming up with something that basically does the same value transfer yeah. as what historically has been done through this correspondent banking system for, for centuries basically without any of the mainframes or complicated stuff, etc. So that's a huge inspiration to have another look at how banking is currently organized. Yeah, so it could solve the problem of this complicated infrastructure. Can I see it like that? Yeah, so I, I, uh, I still think blockchain is more an inspiration than a true solution. Oh, really? This, uh, uh, so yeah, yeah, you know, uh, what blockchain shows is that there's huge efficiency in creating a single source of truth for an mm -hmm. entire value chain. Mm -hmm. And if you then start looking through uh, at different value chains through those eyes, for example, the banking industry, but also the insurance industry or even government, you begin to notice that there's just so much replication in value chains. And you know what what historically has been done is that companies have uh, automated their previous uh, uh, paper-based uh, processes, but we haven't digitized processes yet. And that that's why we're just optimizing at the organization level and mm -hmm. not at the value chain level. So I, I think of this basically as a platform revolution and, and blockchain is basically the value transfer element to the platform revolution. Okay, but you're also saying it's an inspiration. So maybe banks in the future will not use blockchain to uh, transfer money? But the, the thing is that um, if you look at a lot of blockchain projects mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you set up something for a value chain, the inevitable question is always going to be, could we do this without a blockchain, right? Yeah. So, and, and then you start talking about governance and who's owning uh, this uh, system. That starts to become a pretty dominant question. If you look at the most successful uh, blockchain, e blockchain ecosystems at this moment, the, the governance question is a pretty big question, It's right? True. I mean, It's let's true. have a look at the, the scaling debate in Bitcoin, etc. Um, so, um, suppose, suppose uh, in the banking industry, as uh, SWIFT is the institution that actually transfers money around between uh, mm -hmm. banks, mm -hmm. suppose they would actually look at this and get inspired by this, truly create a, a shared ledger and a true digital currency. Yeah. You know, there could be a lot of benefits applied uh, uh, there without necessarily uh, needing a blockchain. But, uh, you know, and I don't rule out blockchain. I, th I think it's a wonderful... Um, um, invention. I think uh, what the crypto guys are actually dreaming of, uh, this big world where we can program away everything you can possibly think of within yeah. organizations, you know, that's likely to happen. If it, if it can be done, it will be done, but that's taking a longer time horizon. I think we're most interested in projects in specific industries, in specific value chains, where we simply can bring uh, the parties together in a single IT platform mm -hmm. and realize incredible efficiencies compared to the current situation. And what's the most interesting project so far you've come across? Um, well, uh, we created a vision, uh, uh, you know, PGB, right? I mean, we're talking in English, but yeah. any of the Dutch persons will know uh, that uh, the persoonsgebonden budget uh, is kind of a synonym in the Netherlands for uh, 
well, uh, not so perfectly organized uh, process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so we created a vision together with the city of Amsterdam, uh, the SVB and uh, uh, Per Saldo, which is a, a patient association for holders of yeah. those PGBs, to see what the system would look like if we would apply blockchain methodology. And then uh, through, uh, if you realize that PGBs, uh, there's f four versions of PGB uh, currently. There's over 400 institutions in the Netherlands that can issue a PGB with all different rules and regulations in there. Yeah. This sounds like the, almost the most perfect story you could think of of applying smart contracts. Why don't we put PGBs in a smart contract assign healthcare providers to mm -hmm. that smart contract, mm -hmm. to specific services, and then just use our smartphone to actually log transactions. So you come and provide a service to me, mm -hmm. we log the transaction against the smart contract. Wouldn't that be much more simple than the current situation? But was this a thought experiment or did you actually build something to demonstrate it can be possible? So at first it was a thought experiment as part of the Dutch blockchain pilots. Mm -hmm. The second step was then uh, through our partnership that we have with uh, CGK as blockchain development company, we actually started building this ourselves as a prototype. So mm -hmm. what we're going to demo later today is the current prototype of a PGB budget on the blockchain. And I'm, I'm very happy that uh, we just agreed with, uh, well, I can't formally announced it yet, but we found a city in the yeah. Netherlands that is very interested in taking this to ah, the next level. Ah, but it would be nice to announce this today, right? I'm not sure we can. Oh. Uh, we're, we're applying uh, for an innovation budget, uh, but you'll, you'll hear more at very short notice. Okay, okay, this is a teaser, right? But, but, uh, this okay, is but uh, yeah, because you have to have multiple parties, because otherwise, if just one city does this, yeah. And the other ones don't. Yep. You, st you have an extra system. So the the, the thing with yeah. the blockchain uh, applications is it's it's best used when everybody uses it, right? Absolutely, and and that's. That's exactly the view that we're taking. So uh, we've had discussions with many, many clients. Uh, but if you talk, start talking about blockchain with a single client, in the end, it doesn't make a lot of sense, right? No. You need to cooperate with multiple parties in the value chain. Yeah. So what we are more focused on these days mm -hmm. is finding specific value chains where we have specific KPMG expertise uh, to uh, uh, really have added value mm -hmm. in such a value chain, like the PGB uh, uh, process. We've been advising uh, various uh, municipalities on the PGB uh, uh, budget for over 10 years. So that's an area of expertise where we've seen all of the separate parts of the process. We can help to actually make that work. And uh, the way I look at blockchain, you know, uh, we have the huge banking consortia. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty ambitious thing to try and solve everything that happens in banking, right? I mean, banking is 80, 90, 100 different products. Yeah. I mean, let's focus on a single value chain, a single product. Personally, I'm, I'm kind of focused on just things in the Netherlands. Let's take local value chains. Let's not try to solve the entire world in the first instance. Let's take a Dutch value chain with a clear starting point, a clear ending point, bring parties together. Yes, uh, we need multiple parties in the value chain to make it work. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, what we're aiming at. Just to be clear, this municipality will um, have an experiment with the blockchain or it actually will do something with the PGB on the blockchain? So this is an innovation for budget that we're applying for that has three stages. Yeah. So the first stage is actually uh, what they call haalbaarheidsonderzoek, a feasibility yeah. uh, uh, study. Um, so that will ba would basically mean that we start translating the, the vision that we already expressed to what would this mean in Groningen. Is this, is this a weird consultant's vision that, that's far off reality or can we actually do this in this specific situation in this specific city? Did you just reveal the city? I think I did. Right? <laughs> hmm. Okay, well you got me there. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, we have to uh, round up. Yeah. But uh, thank you very much, uh, Enes Vries from KPMG. Okay, thanks.